so before we baptize you, I want you to just tell what the Lord's done in your life. He's been faithful. He's been good. Even times that I've not been on fire for him, he's been faithful. And he's not stopped drawing me back. And like I said earlier in Sunday school, I lost my compassion. I lost my fire. When I first got saved, how many remember when you first get saved, you want everybody saved? You want to witness, you want to testify, and I lost that. And I came to a point where, you know what, they know better. So just let them go. That's not the heart of God. The heart of God is lost. And during revival, and even before revival, Holy Spirit began to deal with me. Oh, where's your love? Where's your compassion? Where's your heart? And I listen to the song I share with you all all the time. Give me your eyes for just one second. Give me your heart for humanity. And that's what I want is his heart. And it says to do your, when you leave that first love, it says to do your first works over. And to me, and it, it doesn't have to be that way for you, but to me, this is part of it. Is re-identifying myself as his child. Believing in, in having identification with the death, the burial, and the resurrection. I want to be on fire. I want that power of the Holy Spirit. So this is part of it for me. If it's warm enough. <laughs> In Matthew chapter 28, Jesus said to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And so in obedience to our Savior, and according to your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.